and welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. If you didn't know, on this channel we take a look at darts, darts-related materials, and other items that you, our subscribers, ask us to review. So why don't you take a second and become a subscriber now. Hit the bell down below and you'll also know whenever I post a new video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Practice Ring Improvement Pack by Winmore. This is endorsed by Simon Whitlock. Alright, let's get into it. So this is what you get, this interesting little box right here. It's got Simon's face on the front, and then of course a picture of the rings. So this is a practice ring setup. Let's go ahead and open this up, take a look, and see what's inside. Oh. So we have our set of rings. We have a bag with a set of rings in it. We have a instruction manual, and then we have a bunch of these little sheets that have like a dartboard segment on them. And then on the back, it's got a bullseye or a target of some sort right there. So let me explain to you how this system works. I'll head over to the dartboard, give the system a try, and let you know if it really helped me improve my game at all, which is, you all know, needs help being improved for sure. All right, so here's how this works. Basically, what you're gonna do is take this, cut this out, slap it on the board using this as the 60 and the 20 and the 40 and so forth, okay? You're gonna cut this out, put that on there and start throwing darts. So throw somewhere between 50 and 100 darts at this area and then at the end of that, you're gonna be able to get an idea from this target on the back kind of what your score is. Now in the instruction booklet, it'll give you an at Winmore or at Simon Whitlock, that's a Twitter, to go over and do a tweet. For those of you that don't understand that, Twitter, tweet, anyway, they actually want you to go ahead and send your score in of your first try with this, okay? So go ahead and shoot that over. It says in here, in writing, that they will respond to anybody that does that. So next, where do the rings come into play? The next part of this whole process of getting better is to actually use the rings. And what you're gonna do, get the rings out of the bag first, dump those out. You've got all these different size rings and some that get lost, apparently. You've got all these different size rings. And so what the practice program here is to do is to take a ring size that you are pretty confident that you can get three darts into. So you're going to take that and you're going to up it one size just to make sure because we all know we would be picking this to start off with. But that's not accurate because if you're dropping three darts in here on the regular, PDC is calling your name. So go ahead and grab something that's a little bit more realistic, upsize it one so that it's truly realistic, and you're gonna pin this onto the board into different sections of the board. Move it around occasionally, and you're gonna throw darts at it. And the idea is you're gonna throw, do a session of about a half hour, and then what they say is at a half hour, you wanna take about a five minute break, come back, and you don't wanna do more than two hours at any given time, where you're gonna take a long break and then come back to it. But the idea is to be dropping three darts in here. And when you get to where you're doing that fairly consistently, so in a half hour time frame, you're doing it fairly consistent, you wanna go ahead and shrink the ring down to a smaller size, and again, move that around. And after doing that for a week to two weeks or so, you're gonna to wanna to come back to this guy right here and go ahead and do this again and see what the score ends up being like and see if you're actually getting better. So this is a progress. It's about practicing regularly over time. And it's not about a five minute practice. It's about at least a minimum 30 minute practice up to two hours with a few little breaks, intervals in there. Go get a drink, do the potty thing, whatever you need to in that five minutes and then get back to the darts. But from the practice book, the instruction book it says really not to go over the two hours with this system but you should see that your groupings are getting better and that you're getting more accurate on the dartboard and then once you come to this you're gonna see that you're really playing much better and of course they give you a number of these so you can get through a good couple of months if not even a maybe a year six months my suggestion photocopy that side and that side in color and that way you've got more of them so all right let's go ahead and head over to the board I'm gonna slap one of these on there, give it the first run, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do some stuff with the rings. Now I know you guys are like, really Matt? We're gonna watch you throw darts like that long? No, you're not. Do that, I'm gonna film it, and then of course, with the beauty of photography, we're gonna speed that process up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give you a review of how I think this system actually functions and works, whether I think it's gonna help me, basically the world's okayest dart player, to become a much better okayest dart player than I currently am. 
All right, let's head over to the board and we'll get into it now. All right, so I've got my little cutout here. I've got my little pins. I've got a little snack plate because I'm going to be here for a little while. And I got something to drink. And of course, I got the fridge behind me if I need some extra drink, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this up. I'm going to throw about 100 darts at this. We'll fast forward all that. All that fun stuff. I'll come back. We'll take a look at what my score looks like on the back side. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a ring and I'll upsize one and we'll stick it on the board. And I'm gonna do a probably a half hour, hour long practice session and kind of get an idea of how this system really works. I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these back up after that, throw about another 50 darts at it, just to kind of see what the change is, show you guys that, and then I'll give you a final wrap up. So hang in there with me, get some snacks, get some drinks. This is gonna be a short ride for you and about an hour and a half to two hours for me. All right. Let's get this thing rolling. All right, so I'm gonna go and pin this up here. And again, I'm just gonna stick it right there. Hopefully you guys can see this. And we'll just pin it right at the top. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we've got two, two more throws and I'll hit 100 throws here, or 100 darts thrown, technically. Kind of tell you where things are at, it's kind of interesting. All right, one more throw. All right, let's take a look at this. So here's the back of this, okay, here's the front. And then here's the back here. So as you can see here, I got a couple in the hundreds and then I was floating a lot to the right, hitting the ones. So I had probably a handful of 26s, probably another handful of 140s, no 180s. And then I was hitting the 20 fairly more, but I was definitely hitting the 20 and the one a lot more. So I'm dropping to the right a lot. That's what this shows me. I may add this sucker up and see, but for the most part, I'm in that ring target. So I'm gonna take a ring now that kind of fits where I wanna be. And of course I'll go up one size and place it on there. And I'm gonna spend the next hour throwing darts. Now here's the beauty of this. You guys are gonna have to hang out for an hour with me. I'm gonna like do some movie magic stuff here. All right, so I got the ring up there. I'll see you guys in like an hour after I get done with this little session here. And we're gonna do some YouTube magic now. See you in an hour. All right, everyone. So I just finished up about an hour of practice using the method with the rings. And I'll say I started with a larger ring that I thought I needed to play with. And interestingly enough, I partway through, I went ahead and went over to a smaller ring. And what I found is really with the larger ring, I really wasn't getting as many in here. I don't know what it was. It was a visual thing or what the concept, I'm not sure. I mean, I was still getting two out of three most of the time, but I wasn't getting three out of three in the ring. When I shot down to the smaller ring, I actually was getting more three dart combinations in the smaller ring. So I don't know if it was a mental situation or whatnot, or just that challenge of trying to get them in here. It was a smaller area, so I was focusing more or whatnot, but I found that I was doing better with the smaller ring. So something to try when you get a set of these, you know, start with maybe a larger ring, the ring size you think you should, go up one, see if it works. If not, maybe go down. Maybe that's just how your brain works. Not 100% sure. But I've gone ahead and installed the another one of these on the board. We're gonna give it a try and see, do I do better? Now my score this last time was 3,705, right there. You can see it, it's dated and it's got number one on it. So I can't cheat this out. That's what's there. I'm gonna go and set that aside, go ahead and throw here. And of course, we're gonna do a little time lapse here. The woo, made a little bit faster for you so you're not spending the whatever 10, 15, 20 minutes it's gonna take me to throw 100 darts. But let's get started on that now and then we'll do a final wrap up and let's see if I actually get any better. All right, got the counter going. Let's get into it now. All right, so again, today we've been taking a look at the practice ring improvement set by Win More Darts. This is used by and endorsed by Simon Whitlock, who is an Australian professional darts player. And here's a wrap up on this. So again, my two basically trial runs with the program. This was the first one, this was the second one. And so we threw at this. I ran through about 45 minutes to an hour of the practice with the rings. And then this was my second one. And my first one, the score again was 3,705. My second one, the score was 
was 4,515. And honestly, it was a little bit hard because I had double hit in a number of areas and the holes were slightly bigger. That score could actually be much higher than that, or at least a few hundred points higher. So I would say in that amount of time, using this ring system or using the plastic ring improvement system by Winmore actually improved my darts. So as being the world's okayest darts player, I am now the world's okayest darts player slightly better. I'm gonna keep using this and really the push in this, there's some comments by Simon in the little instruction manual. Basically the idea is to use this on a regular basis, to use it daily if possible, and of course on a regular basis throughout the week during your practice schedules, and you're gonna get much better at darts. Thank you guys again for watching this review of the practice ring improvement package or system by Winmore, again endorsed by Simon Whitlock. Hopefully this has been educational for you. It's given you some information as to why you might want one of these sets. There are other ones out on the market. I really like this one because it comes with this piece. I don't know if anybody else has this, but this is gonna give you some, basically the ability to look back on and see growth in your game for sure. So I really like this setup. Thanks for watching. It is available at the link down below. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget the bell. You'll know whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to like and share this video. Oh, and drop us a comment down below of something you'd like us to review. Thanks again. I'm your host, Matthew. This has been Atomic Darts, and we will see you on the next one.